Fellas, welcome back to Cringe Confessional, the only show on the internet that relives your most embarrassing, awful, terrible moments. We're going to go through the worst moments of your life and my Twitch chat. See, I set up a page at cringe.coney.gg where people can send me anonymous stories of the most embarrassing things that ever happened to them. And now I'm going to read them and watch them with you, shall we? Also, if you're wondering why I'm not wearing the normal glasses, I'm moving soon and I put them in a box, I think. Let's get to cringing. As a kid, I had a strange relationship with mortality. Why does it seem like a novel? What kind of a book starter is this? Like a Stephen King book about a magical child. I understood that dying meant that someone would be gone, oh, no. but not exactly why. Is it a funeral story? Around the age of yep. three, I, love I was at stories. a great aunt's funeral. I love funeral now, stories. These being are great. the age that I was, I was a little smart ass and liked to correct people when I knew for a fact One something of those, was wrong. Sure. So, while playing with my Hot Wheels cars on the ground, I heard all these towering adults speaking in these hushed tones. Uh -huh. I know I can still feel her with us, or I feel like she's still in the room with us, uh -huh. etc. Thus, yeah. my little shit brain was thinking these people <laughs> don't know what they're talking about. Uh, no, she's dead, little Reddit atheist kid. Actually, she's in the ground, and she's never coming back. So I decided to speak up. <laughs> Mud's dead. They seem to ignore me, so I repeated <laughs> myself louder. Mud's dead. She's gone. I heard my grandma start crying, and that's when my mom came and took me out to the car. That's a bad one. That's kind of... Dude, have you ever ignored a kid that really wants your attention? They don't stop. They just keep yelling louder and louder and louder, and how do you even stop it at this point? I'm pretty sure I dropped a Hot Wheels car and <laughs> never got it back to. Yeah, that's, that's tragic. reminding family of the cycle of life wasn't the right call. Hey, you were right, though. I mean, I think. Little bro brought them despair. Yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> yeah, don't take kids to funerals. I feel like until they're like 12, just say the person went away. There's got to be a better way to do this. I'm terrified of, the, of that talk. How do you explain that? I have a strange relationship with mortality, and I'm a dad. What the hell am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? Back before I ever had a phone, I had a PDA, and I would look at Rule 34 stuff on it. Uh, what's a PDA? Oh, good heavens. PDA is personal digital assistant, I think? It's basically a phone. It's just a phone, but, like, in between normal phones with the rotary dial and the, and the dial tones and whatever... And the phones that we have now, we had something called a PDA, which was like a little computer in your pocket. This is a time where download times are abysmal. It sure is, yeah. So I decided to use one of my parents' SD cards to oh, save images and avoid downloading man. every time. Man, okay. After a field trip to Yosemite, taking pictures along the way. We used the Wii's picture slideshow in front of the entire family, and I started freaking out because I realized I forgot to delete my stuff. What? was the stuff do you think because there are levels to this right there's something like oh uh son you don't understand that but if you're curious like maybe we could talk if you're at that age like you can have a talk and then there's like your dad has an awakening right like it's one thing if it's like a gorgeous woman or a guy or something you're like oh that's a normal thing but some your your dad might be like they, what is that i don't know what any of this is fnaf yeah exactly like you have you know how long that would take to explain some of the characters and the, yeah that's different man with the weird mode in my hand i was <laughs> ready to fast forward which didn't matter they all saw my big booty princess not Peach as bad pictures. as you would think yeah that my wasn't so being bad the loudest gonna... person ever <laughs> started cheering and shouting yeah Go back. Okay, yeah. Needless to say, I wanted to hide somewhere in the North Pole. You know what? You got off easy. 34 of Peach is like, that is a fine intro. You're probably around that age, right? It's cringe and it's embarrassing, but you know what? You were curious, and the uncle was a big W to, to release the tension. That's not bad. The uncle saved it. Yeah, congratulations. His uncle popped the fuck off. I bet your uncle didn't know what Rule 34 was until that. You probably helped him out a little bit. I don't see her in the video game. They make those? As a kid, I was very unaware of what was visible online. And being a teen, I was just as unaware, including Google+. Plus. <laughs> okay. I found out Google+, Plus and the Android Play Store share a feature that shows what your friends install. Oh. Unfortunately, this was after I had installed Hot Sex Sounds. 
I found out after my father commented on the post on my Google Plus account declaring to the world I was a horny teen. Why your dad do that? Why your dad comment on that? Why your dad not, not take you into his study and say, son, we need to talk. Your dad is so much lamer than that other guy's uncle. That other guy's uncle was so cool and, and funny. Your dad is so embarrassing and cringe doing that publicly. No one used Google Plus anyways. Yeah, nobody saw it, I guess. That's true. And hey, all the embarrassing stuff is gone. Thank God. Tony, you don't know what it's like to have a strict father in the digital age. Thank God for that. All the cringe stuff I did as a kid is gone. It was all on AOL. And thank the Lord it is not documented. Why would you install hot sex sound? It's always weird to me when people are in the discovery phase. They're at a point where, like, they don't know what to look for. So they just, like, Google search, like, big boobs search hot sex sounds on their phone. Like, it's so bizarre, right? Everybody has a different pathway, I guess, but... Usually, dad doesn't have to fucking comment on it. What an asshole. My cringe saved someone's life. Are you sure? It's spring 2013. I am 11 years old. Oh, we got a story to tell. My okay. defining personality yeah. traits are liking chowder and being good at math. <laughs> okay. My parents work with a lot of famous people, and sometimes they get to do cool stuff. Damn, okay. This time, the three of us get access to a yacht party with some famous rapper dude, whose name I don't remember thanks to their friend. His manager. Okay. The rapper was black and wore a lot of chains and stuff. Okay. However, I have Thanks to go straight info. from Cub Scouts because I got my arrow of life that same night. Uh huh. So I am in full uniform with no change of clothes. Okay. Anyways, we get there and almost immediately it is too loud and too crowded. I am hot as a tick and this is giving me a panic attack. Okay. So I slip out and start to wander around. At some point, I think I must have entered an employee's only door okay. because I'm in the bowls of the ship and you nobody is around. the back rooms of the ship. Finally, How'd you get just there? as I'm about to turn back, I see two people on a balcony with a water look down. Rapper dude and manager friend. Uh huh. Manager friend looks a little frustrated and rapper dude looks a little tense. Uh huh. He still has all his chains on. And to my brain, this is almost identical to Mung Dolls the Top. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. I thought I thought something bad was about to happen or these two were fighting. You know, when they dropped that they like chowder, I thought that was just like a fun little bit of world building. I thought that was just a little bit of lore, right? What is that? Let me go ahead and show you. I should have known when you said Chowder. If you're wondering who Mung Doll is, uh, this is Mung Doll, who is a character in Chowder who is like Chowder's dad or something. Dad? I didn't fucking watch Chowder. I was a flapjack guy. So, I walk up to them and say, what's <laughs> up, diggity dogs? Okay. Because MD said that. I bet he does. I swear to you, manager jumped the fucking <laughs> foot into the air. And as he did, I saw he was holding none other than a fucking knife pointed at rapper dude. Oh my, my brain God. does not connect the dots until years later. Oh shit. Instead, I say, oh, cool, you have a knife. <laughs> Let me show you mine. <laughs> What? What? You made a threat? This You're was done quickly no and way. because I'm just internally like, OMG, this guy's a boy <laughs> scout. <laughs> the manager just stands there awkwardly for a few seconds and then leaves. You threatened a rapper's manager with your little Cub Scout pocket knife? What the fuck? Rapper dude thanks me and tells me to get back to my parents. I do. They were looking hard for me. The rest of the event is uneventful. Who is the rapper? I need to know. Please DM me. I need to know who you are. Usually I'm fully anonymous. I have to know this story. I need every detail I can get. That is incredible. That's fantastic. What a good story. I would tell that story to everybody that I ever met. You're about to witness a, a murder live. And you walk up and at the boldness, not just a what's up diggity dogs, because you thought he liked chowder. That's insane to me. You just saw a guy with a lot of chains and said, oh, that guy probably knows who's, who Mung Dahl is. That grown adult man who is very successful in a musician. <laughs> Hold on, is this, uh, is this what he says? What's up, dogs? Oh my god. You know, I made fun of you before, but I, I get it now. I get it. It's him. That's who you saw. You saw this guy on the boat, and you know what? You saved his life. It's not Flava Flav. This is clearly Flava Flav, but he's just wearing a big chain. There's no way this guy saved Flava Flav's life. 
This frame saved a future rapper's life. Yeah, you need to send this to the animators at Chowder. Let them know how their work has impacted you and the lives of others around you. Excellent story. My German teacher may have been a good teacher, but I wouldn't know that. <laughs> you guys are getting pretty good at these intros. I feel like every intro now is like, you guys are really taking cues from actual storytellers. I spent all of this class period playing MTG and Pokemon. One day, Germany. before a unit Germany. test, I asked hell. him if I could eat the Oofy test for the instead. He jokingly said yes and we moved on. Oh no. The very next day, after he finished handing out the tests, I waited until he sat down at his desk. I then picked up my bag and test, made a very dramatic showing of dragging my desk in front oh of his. My God. I oh then my proceeded God. to look this poor, oh tired God. man in the eyes and oh ate the entire test. God. When the class period was over, he pulled me aside. He said to me, you're a very strange child. I'll give you the uh, but please <laughs> never do that again. That was the highest grade I got in that class in my entire career. You get to do it one time. I can't believe he didn't stop you. I can't believe you got the teacher to agree to that and then just get away with it. The teacher is like, well, I told him yes, I guess. Is that like a real thing? Do teacher, do I have any teachers in chat? I hope not. Do I have any teachers in chat? If you say something to a kid, do you just have to honor it? Because you would get pulled into the principal's office and the kid would be like, he said this. You need to be like, I did, but I didn't mean it. I am a teacher and no, you can just lie. Good. I figure if you're a German teacher, it doesn't really matter. You understand that the kids aren't going to remember any of that shit. If you're like a science or a math teacher, it's like, all right, I need you to pass this quiz so you can be a normal functional adult. German? I haven't spoken German on purpose one time. I can say sprechen de Deutsch which means, do you speak German, I think. <laughs> which is, doesn't help me much, because I don't. When I was in middle A school, maybe seventh grade, <laughs> I was taking middle my a dog cool. for a walk. He ran off when he saw a squirrel and the leash broke and I couldn't keep up with him. Okay. My family was so dot mad at me and we had to look for him for hours with no luck. Later that evening, he came home and come in through the doggy door we left open just in case. Uh -huh. We were excited until we noticed that next to the doggy door he left a present. Poop story. No, it can't be. You wouldn't be surprised by that. What was the present, you ask? Dead animal. A child's sized prosthetic leg with a sock and shoe on it. That's way worse. Do they have tracking for that? Do they have, like, a way to return that to its owner? There's not, like, Apple tags or whatever. Do they put, like, phone numbers on prosthetic limbs? Like, if found... Call, uh, Jeremy, at, and then the number. Please say you returned it. You can't! You don't know where it came from! Your dog just found a leg! A kid's leg! Which means your dog was just walking and got out, and it saw a kid walking, and it grabbed their leg because it thought it was a stick, and then it ran home! Which means the kid definitely fell down, and now he has to, like, crawl his way home, or hop. Horrified, we tried to see if we could find the owner and eventually brought it to okay. the rec center in town hoping that it would find its owner. Uh huh. However, about a month later the Xfinity guy was overdoing some repairs to get our cable box working and he left the door open oh, no. and Crisco got out again. Did he bring another leg? He eventually came back with the leg. Okay. Again. Okay. And we so, the dog just really hates this kid. Mom, the dog is back. Imagine being that kid. The first time is fucked up, but the second time, oh god, not again. Is that the same dog? Imagine the horror, seeing that dog running at you. Is that a German shit? It's not the same, that can't be the same German shit. Ah! And we had to take it back to the rec My center bad. and ask who picked it up the last time so we oh, can Oh, that's good, it. yeah, now you know who it is. That poor kid is probably <laughs> petrified of dogs now. Yeah, I, I don't know. If if it's the same dog twice, I by the third time, if I'm that kid, I'm buying a gun. I'm not seeing that damn dog again. If he, if I keep getting my leg back, eventually he's going to find it. It's him or me now. He's getting that fucking leg. He hates dogs now. He, I, I would do. Oh, no. Wait. People can see behind the curtain. Ruining the illusion. Okay. After these messages, we'll be right back.
did someone say the future of gaming? Hi, I'm Cody, and I would like to tell you about the X-Real Air AR glasses. So this is something kind of different. Usually when I do these sponsored bits, it's because somebody's paying me to promote something or try to push something to my audience. This is different because I reached out to them. So I was hanging out with a very good friend of mine, and he showed me these. These are the X-Real Air glasses. Normally, I'm not an AR, VR, whatever type guy, but he showed me how these work, and I fell in love, and I hit up X-Real, and I said, hey, I want to show these off to people if you'll send me a pair, and they did. So essentially what these are is they extend your screen through the lens, and you can use this on all kinds of devices, whether it's your phone, all systems, but the main reason I'm telling you about it right now is because it works perfectly with Steam Deck. And I wanted these for travel. Here's Street Fighter 6 running on it. But I don't really want to be doing this on the plane because I got to look down. I got to crane my neck if I lean back. So my friend showed me these. What you can do when you plug these in and instead of going on to the Steam Deck, the screen goes to the glasses. And now I'm gaming in the fourth dimension. The way that it works is actually really cool. There's a little sensor here in between the, the glasses. So I'm gonna block that sensor. And now, oh, there's Luke. There, he's in there. This thing has a 130 inch display somehow and 3840 by 1080 pixels. And it's micro OLED. So everything just kind of pops out more. How they got 130 inches on this thing, I have no idea, but you could see it for yourself. But they are AR glasses. So you can just put them on like this. And now I'm looking at you, but I also see Luke and Ryu on in Metro City, which is great because I could play a game while pretending that I'm looking at you and I care about what you're saying. Also, one thing I love about these is that you don't have to worry about the battery life. They actually drain from whatever you're playing on. So I just thought these were neat. These are the X-Real Air AR glasses. You can find these on Amazon. I think they're going for 379s. Also, their all new X-Real beam device made it so you don't even need an adapter anymore. You can use this baby with the Switch undocked. It's as easy as it is with the Steam Deck. The brand new X-Real Beam makes it so this is compatible on way more devices. Check that out too. Thanks X-Real for sending me these glasses. And thanks you for watching this whole thing. Take it away, past Coney. I was very, I a very religious, voice. homeschooled kid throughout high school and then unbeknownst to me, a sexual. Okay. I was about 14 years old and received a chat request on Google Chat from a person I didn't know named Hope. That's weird. Being a naive kid, I accepted. Sure. She massaged me and we got talking. Messaged, she messaged, She then sent a message. nude and asked if I liked what I saw. I was horrified and told oh, her that dude. she didn't have to degrade her body that way. Undeterred, she wanted to move our discussion to a video chat oh site so I could see more. Me also being undeterred, I began to try and convert her to Christianity, saying that Jesus loved her. Dude, the beast ass kid. Your parents prepared you well for some of Satan's machinations. God's strongest soldier, W kid. I gave the most impassioned missionary speech to try and convert this wayward soul from harlotry to embracing the heavenly. Yeah. I figured out the next week <laughs> that she was a bot. Okay. I did not make the connection that this was a bot. I did not. I, I don't know why I didn't. I thought that he was getting solicited by a creep. I got tricked. So did he. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, good practice. You got to spend some time in the aim lab before you get out there and really convert people, right? I've only gotten one thirsty DM ever, and I don't know if it was a bot because I said, just send me the virus. And then they're like, what virus? Blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't tell if it was a normie. I, I figured if it's a normie, they probably don't follow me because I have very, like, I'm a very niche micro guy on the internet. So I was like, this isn't a normie, right? During kindergarten, I developed a crush on one of my classmates. Okay. Being the base gamer I was, I had zero social skills and a life of cringe ahead of me. What did you do? During recess, it was just me and her atop one of the large playthings. Okay. I walked up to her, and with the confidence, as though I had the backing of all my ancestors, I said, I am Mario. Stop. I don't know if I want to keep going. This might be the first time I need to end the story here. Don't know if I want to keep going here. I kind of get where this is going. She's Peach, right? And you are Princess Peach. <laughs> She promptly screamed and slid down this slide to run away from me. Oh, I wee! think this is my earliest memory. Got the hell out of there. Went down the warp pipe. Am I right, gamers? What a weird thing to say. That that doesn't even... That poor girl. 
<laughs> she doesn't even know video games? Who's Mario? What a weird thing to get scared about. I think it's more like if you're in kindergarten, it's just a cooties thing. Like, oh, boys. I feel like there's got to be, well, I was going to say, there's got to be more like stuff like that for the Fortnite or like the Minecraft age, but it's not like a Steven Alex thing, right? Probably just still Mario and Peach. I was 13 when I went to summer camp. There were two separate cabins, one for boys and one for girls. Uh -huh. One night, I didn't want to take the showers because they looked filthy. So I sneaked out from my cabin and went skinny dipping in the lake uh -oh. that was four miles away from the campsite. Four miles away? How did you get there? You didn't walk, right? That's a really long walk. That's like an hour long walk, dude. Four miles is like an hour 20 to two hours. Jesus Christ. That's one way. After I was done, I had forgot <laughs> oh where I put my no clothes. No way you're at, walking back. Which caused naked me to presume that one hours. of my friends stole my clothes for shits and giggles. It was pretty dark and I angrily walked over to the campsite, wet and naked. For two hours? Because it's four miles. You said that. You're walking naked through the woods. It's not four miles. They didn't. They don't know the distance. You think they walked four miles to steal your clothes? Are your kids that committed to the bit? These these kids at the camp. It's that funny. There were no lights on the cabins to reveal the <laughs> okay. boys and All girls right. signs yeah. above the doors. So I went into one of them. Uh huh. Can you guess which cabin I went into? Well, you're a Coney viewer, which means you're probably a guy, and I bet you went into the girl's cabin. That's right. Yeah. The girl's cabin. Yeah, I bet you did. Fully naked, dripping wet. Not only that, they were still awake, and I was met with screams, <laughs> laughter, and even ogling eyes. I even heard one of the girls say, <laughs> nice ass, as I ran out from the cabin. <laughs> okay. Anime ass story. Did this really happen, you think? This seems like a... I don't... Is this real? I never wanted to go home so fucking badly. I mean, no, it could have happened. It's just a little embellished. Maybe embellished a bit. Definitely wasn't four miles. Probably walked in and realized it was a girl's cabin and be like, oh, and then walked back out. Real story, obviously exaggerated. Yeah, what's the point of submitting fake stories? Although, actually, somebody did that off the Reddit, right? Somebody put that cat girl story off that one Reddit. Because you don't get anything. You're not getting Coney coins or anything. You don't get channel points for a good story. I don't even know who you are. So I was going into sixth grade. First few weeks, I didn't have many friends. Yeah. I start talking to this girl in my math class, find out we're both really into Undertale FNAF, and we become really good friends. I'm such an asshole that I rolled my eyes at the start. Why did I do that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's geek stuff, cringe couple. Yeah, 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 but it's a generational thing. It's an old people thing. This wasn't like normal when I went to school. Anime or gaming or whatever. Like gaming was fine, but it was like a it was like a like a nerd boy thing, right? Being in a FNAF and Undertale, it, it's fine. Right? It's like a big thing. Fast forward to near the end of the year, and I start really liking her. And I decide to ask her out during lunch reference. one day. Be my so I go promise. up to ask her at lunch, and she just straight up yells at me, like I would never fucking date you in front of everyone. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! That is not what I expected to happen. That was the last thing that I expected. Why did she do that? You guys were friends? The AWOL moment of the stream we were all waiting for. Wait a minute, fellas. I can't believe it's been so long. We haven't really had many stories of of uh, this happening, right? I'm shocked because like the reason that we started doing that is because it felt like there were so many high school things where it was like uh, a guy would, would be hanging out with a girl and talking with a girl and then it would turn out that she was like, ew, you're so ugly. My friend dared me to, to kiss you. My friend dared me to ask you out, LOL. But we haven't had any of those stories tonight. This is the first one that really surprised me. I don't know why she had to scream like that in front of everybody. Needless to say, I was pretty emotionally defeated. Yeah. But I think the most embarrassing part of it was that she was named after a Kingdom Hearts character. Which one? No way it's Kyrie. No way you got Omega rejected by Kyrie. How many girl characters are there? It's it's not... You would have said Final Fantasy if it was Tifa or Aerith or something. It's definitely Kyrie. And so... How do you know that she was named after a Kingdom Hearts character? I bet she told you because you guys were connected. You both like video games. Me and my family are waiting for our order when suddenly the news changes to tell us that mm. Michael Jackson has died. My parents didn't want to tell me that he died because of an overdose. Okay. 
Instead, Allegedly. he told me that he hit a tree. My child brain interpreted that as he just walked into a tree a little too hard. <laughs> Ouch! Fast forward almost 10 years and I still believe this. Oh my god. So one day, almost 10 years later in high school, when a presenter at my school for an anti-drug thing asked the class how Michael Jackson died, <laughs> and I raised my hand to say oh he walked into a tree. The whole class just looks at me. I look around. My friend tells me that's not how it happened. How fast? How fast did he walk into the tree? All parents often lie. Dude, how, how hard did he have to walk into a tree to die? Sonny Bono, like, skied into it, and that's how he died. He moonwalked into the tree. I see everybody else has got the same joke. Yeah, I see. Not thinking about how women a drug class until the presenter says, laughing and giggling like a baby, of course. No, he died due to drugs. <laughs> so I, being a gifted student, say, yeah. Oh, then he was just so high the tree killed him when he bumped into it. Ah, now we've solved the riddle. We were both right. We were both right. He was so high, when he walked into the tree, he had an aneurysm. His his brain burst. We're all right here. Every We're saying the same thing. Now the class just burst into <laughs> laughter. I look around confused yeah. until the presenter tells me he overdosed. Oh, of course. Yeah, he, uh, I apparently. finally figured it out. Oh, sorry. He overdosed and became so weak and fragile he hit the tree and instantly died. Can somebody shut Tree Kid up? This kid is obsessed. Stop it, bro. Stop. Triple downing on Tree Boy. My parents wouldn't lie. My dad told me the truth. My friends don't let me live this down <laughs> and probably never will. Oh, no. I, you, I would bring it up at every opportunity. I would find ways to hear Michael Jackson music just while we're hanging out. Maybe put make a playlist that you think is shuffle, and it's like one Imagine Dragons song, and then 50 Michael Jackson tracks. And every time, you just, huh? <laughs> this is how MJ actually died. The press doesn't want you to know. Big tree. Did Michael Jackson write any tree songs? I don't think so. Tree he. Wow, we're really improv on these fucking Michael Jackson bits. Good one. A <laughs> smooth arboreal? Stop! This is so fucking dumb. <laughs> Trailer! I was running late to a class in grade 12, so I was trying to move quickly through the crowded hallways. I was at the last corner before the classroom I was headed to and was almost at a run when a group of girls turned the corner directly in front of me. I had no time to slow down and crashed directly into the girl in front. <laughs> She lost balance and fell over, and when she hit the ground of her arms popped off in the elbow Ooh. and slid a few feet from her. I instantly yelled in surprise, Wait. realizing after a few seconds no of way. shock that I had knocked Another over the one? girl with one arm. Another one?! You said her arm came off and I was like, that. I want to make sure that I'm right here. Is this a prosthetic? It's another one! Oh my god, she's back. All women have one arm. It's not all women, but it, it seems to be quite a few. We keep having characters in our stories where it's people with one arm or one leg. Oh my god, one arm Wendy. Not again! My face turned bright red. I said a choked sorry to her and picked up her prosthetic and you as give her, her friends her hand. helped her up. She was too shocked to say anything back <laughs> and started to cry as all of her friends gave me harsh looks. <laughs> I didn't know what to do so I turned around and kept walking to class. Oh god. You just leave? So just to be clear, you were running in the hallway, you slammed into this girl, her arm goes flying, and then you turn around and leave. You were just a random event. He didn't do anything wrong. He did. He's just sprinting down the hallway. Just absolutely just shoulder checked this poor girl. He said sorry. Yeah, but that's not the... Come on. God, how do we have so many of these stories? I knew like maybe five people in my life that were missing a limb. It's not very common. D be honest. Compton and Keen. If you guys see a story about somebody with a prosthetic limb, do you like auto clear it? Is that something you're just like, send it? I don't care what it is, just send it so we get another one. No, it just happens. That seems to be a, a consistent thing then. Some are dumb, that's crazy. So we have even more stories that get filtered out that involve a prosthetic limb. I was around 18, and my school was hosting a music event where students were encouraged to play instruments, have fun, uh -huh. and it was all done by the students. So people were really there just to have fun. Some people played with a small oh, a band, band with their friends. Story. Some played an instrument they like. Of course, me being the cringe kid I am, went ah, to play. Of course I had to cringe. play the ocarina. Yep. And surprisingly no one laughed or made fun of me. No, I feel like most people wouldn't know the ocarina is a gamer instrument. Later on, 
two of the popular kids went with a guitar and sang some songs that were a meme to the grade. Okay. During their performance, one of the kids said, Hey, sorry if it's not that good. We didn't even rehearse for this. And someone on the crowd shouted, Don't worry. Nothing will ever be as worse as greater than my name <laughs> less than. Dude, wow! The crowd just throwing a shred. I thought the ocarina thing went off without a hitch. You made it sound like it was okay. Oh, dude, that, that's gotta really hurt. Because you thought everything was cool. Oh, that's actually worse. Because, like, if they hate you straight up and they make fun of you, at least it's gone. But you thought you had joy. You thought that you got done with it and everybody was cool and everybody was fine. And then it's after. And you just doubt everything you've ever thought. Derek activity. It always is. Nothing it's always will ever Derek. Be as not sure if he thought I wasn't there. Oh. Or if he wanted to hurt me specifically. That's but everyone so just sad. immediately turned their faces to me. I didn't do anything. I just went home and cried. Oh, that's so sad. That's real sad. I don't, that story is truly tragic. Because, like, you feel like you wouldn't be able to trust yourself or other people ever again. But maybe that means next time you could tune in for Sad Confessional, the new show. But for now, we're done. Thanks, everybody, for watching Cringe Confessional. What was your favorite story? Mine is definitely the dog, I think. Don't say Michael Jackson. That was Chad's favorite story. Right, chat? Hope you guys like Cringe Confessional. I think you did because you stayed for the whole thing. Like the video, okay? I should say that earlier because liking the video gets it recommended. But I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe. I'll see you. Goodbye. Bye. Say bye, YouTube. Definitely the Boy Scout story. Dude, I forgot about that. The Mung doll one with the knife where the guy saved the, uh, a homicide. That was pretty good.